Hey, look, we're back. And where we last left off, I honestly can't remember where we last left off. But I want to talk about some things in the video game industry at the very start before I forget. So, first off, uh, the it is June 2nd, 2022. We had our PlayStation State of Play, and they showed up a lot of shit that was really goddamn cool. First, they showed off Resident Evil uh, 4 Remake, which is coming out next year in 2022, or 2023. Personally, I'm not really feeling it too much based off what we're seeing because it seems like they're going They're. It looks good. It looks beautiful. It looks like it's really really gonna hold up what made uh, Just like the feel of Resident Evil 4. It's like how Resident Evil 2 remake held on to the feeling of Resident Evil 2 I'm hoping that that feeling of Resident Evil 4 is held up However, it looks like they're being more seriousness and potentially removing some of the campiness that made Resident Evil 4 so good to me. Like, I just, I, I think a lot of the things that made Resident Evil 4 so special was that campiness. It, it was like a B-movie action. It was like a B-movie horror action movie flick from start to finish. And it was a fun one, but it was just, it seems like they're going to remove it. And I hope not, but here's hoping. Also, we're getting VR for uh, Resident Evil 8, so that's good. People be horny as shit for getting to see Lady Dimitrask in first person, so not surprised there. Um, what's it called? Uh, the Walking Dead VR game is getting its chapter 2, so that's cool there as well. Uh, we're getting a VR for No Man's Sky, good. Horizon series is getting a VR as well. There's a lot of VR stuff that happened here. Um, the Spider-Man game, the Sp Marvel Spider-Man, is getting a remaster, and it's coming to PC, which pissed off the Bloodborne people because it's like, what the fuck, man? Can we please get PC Bloodborne? Uh, poor Bloodborne people. We saw like a little stealth action game where you play as a stray cat called Stray. It looks kind of neat. One of the things I do care about the most, though, was the Calypso Protocol, with the Dev Space devs literally coming out here and saying, look... EUA won't fucking do it? Fine, we'll do it ourselves. So, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, there was, like, this uh, roller derby, like, My Friend Pedro-looking game. That was kind of neat. We had an anime game called Etern Eternite. Eternite, not like Eternal or Eternity, Eternite. So, they don't really have enough on that. But, what we did see was a big reveal of the Street Fighter VI it looks like there's going to be like a creative character, world, story, beat, adventure kind of thing. So far, we've seen Ryu and Luke. We knew that they were going to be there. And we get to see Chun-Li. She's looking a little bit older, but she's still Chun-Li. And now she's a martial artist. It looks like she stopped being a cop to become a martial artist. And during the trailer, I saw she was training this little girl. And I was like, who is that? Who is that? That's Lee, uh, Lee Fen. That's the little girl that was in Third Strike and the little girl that was in Street Fighter V. That uh, got kidnapped by Fang. We also got to see the newest character, who looks like a mixture of almost Yun and Yang, who's doing like a drunken martial arts, like flurry kung fu style that Yun and Yang kind of have, and it looks neat. Uh, there was uh, information about Final Fantasy 16. It's coming out next year in 2023 as well, and that was about it. Oh, there was one other, like, indie-looking game, like like a cycling game or exploration game called Season. So, yeah, and that's coming out this fall. But now that we have that preamble's all over, let's actually get back into this game and figure out what the fuck is going on. Can I please stop blacking out and just play the goddamn game? Please. Please. All right, that's what happened. We realized that the Renegades were actually New Warrior eavesdropping, and Hakan warned us about it. And now we have to deal with that nonsense. And we're so we're still trying to look out for where Lewayne went after that whole thing. Oh, I have unspent skill points. I don't care about that. Ledge takedown, block charge, block projectile, grapple. Honestly, give me the head stomp. Thank you. Do you happen to... Oh, poppies, thank you. 
All right, so what's our quest going to be here for today? That's the real question. And our quest for the day here is there's one deep cover here. Beyond all that, how's everyone doing? Oh, I actually uh, started my, or started the actual part of my new cable job. And honestly, I gotta admit, it is actually pretty nice, all things considered. I already had to do my first blur during customer, but overall, it was like, yo, I can actually, like, I'm actually enjoying this. It's really nice to, like, just interact with people and give them their service and all that shit. The question is, will it stay like that? Probably not, but, you know, I'm hopeful. Shit, do I? Ah, I pushed the wrong button. Oh, I already have my grapple hook out as well. Damn it. Yeah, I just respawn. Keep forgetting that the grapple hook is something I got to equip first. Well, obviously I can't use it here, but can I please equip the goddamn thing? What do you mean I can't use it here? I was cleaning out this one place. And was it worth it? I I can't even equip it. Why? For what purpose? Holy fucking shit, man. I can't equip my grappling hook. Okay. That's an uncommon. What kind of uncommon is it? Is it a... It's a bolter. Ow. Oh, it wasn't a bolter. That's on me. Bolter. So I made the right play on just about all of that except for the very end there. A brick. It looked like a bolter to me. It's kind of hard to tell in all this darkness. Okay, now where was I going? Where was that quest line at? That moved for some reason. Guess we're going here. Yeah, that's going to be our point for today then. It would be interesting to see which characters they also get bring back. Because it looks like they're trying to do a new generations thing in Street Fighter 6. Which, uh, for those who don't remember, actually failed the first time they did it. Like, um, so Street Fighter 3, right? There's been, there was three of them. There was the initial one, there was Second Impact, and then there was Third Strike. And there were a lot of people who were not happy with Third Strike and Second Impact for, or in new generations for that matter. Because it's like, oh, but where's Ryu? Where's, uh, where's Ryu? Where's all the legacy characters that we care so much about? Which is fair, personally, I think. Because you gotta realize that a lot of people play these games to play their... Oh, I'm not gonna make it in time. This guy's gonna die. Aiden, you better hurry up. You better hurry up, Aiden. His death's gonna be on your hands, Aiden. Don't just... Lucky. But yeah, you gotta realize that a lot of people actually didn't like the first and second, or even third strike for that matter, or first and second games, because they removed so many of the Hall Hallmark characters. Like, nowadays, you talk about third strike, it's probably one of the most well-remembered and well-liked Street Fighter games. But back then, it was like, pfft, second generation? Are you joking? Bro, there's no Ryu, there's no Ken, there's no of these, so many of these characters, this game's garbage, etc, etc. Uh, can I, like, get you out into the open? Which I get, because, hell, I still, to this day, miss El Fuerte. Like, truly, truly do miss El Fuerte. It sucks that I'm just constantly reminded that he hasn't been in a Street Fighter game, or even had any mission, for that matter, since 4. It's why I still, every once in a while, go back and play 4, shit. 
Yeah, it's every wide way. Every once in a while, I'll go back and play four because it's like I missed playing this character. He was so fucking good. And you just got rid of him because, I don't know. Uh, where am I going? new generations are trying to force again i'm very hesitant to see if people will accept it. or i'm willing to give it a try especially after how much they kind of failed at the start with street fighter 5 i'm willing to give it a try because it looks like there's already going to be a lot more here at the start with the whole free roaming and the whole adventure mode it looks like they're going to be having and the possible creator character feature because one of the things we saw was when um we saw just a person in a hood who clearly wasn't Ryu doing the Shoryuken, and it's like, okay, okay, so they were telling me there might be the ability to just, like, play as a creative character kind of thing. Personally, I'm down as fuck for that. But we'll re- we have to see. We really do have to see. I'm hopeful, but I'm- I'm hopeful that things will go well, but... You know, just compared to last time, it, it, they kind of have to do better, effectively. Forsaken shot. Don't know about where's that guy headed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we got the stomp back, boys. Woo! We got the stomp back. It's time to enjoy combat again. Oh, okay, we have a quest literally right here next to me. Yanking my chain. We're yanking your what? Your boss said you'd be here earlier. My boss? Your boss, Eberhard. Who? I don't know him. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. I am Ferenc Waller. I used to be a cardiac uh, heart surgeon. I'm Aiden, but who is Eberhard? At this point, I'm not sure anymore. Some guy I met said <coughs> he'd arranged to recover a pacemaker from the medical offices in the, in the quarantine building for me. Did you pay him in advance? I did. Oof. <coughs> that wasn't too smart. Ah, oh, well. I guess I'll just go after the pacemaker myself. I promised my wife I would get it. And I intend to keep it. Your wife's dead, word. isn't she? You're just doing this kind of for sentimental reasons. Wait, what is a pacemaker? It's a little shock box to simulate the heartbeat and to keep it beating. For those suffering from damaged hearts, it was the only way to lead a normal life. They're pretty rare nowadays. I'm pretty sure surgery in general is probably pretty rare nowadays. How do you know it's there? I consulted there back in the day, so I know where they keep equipment like this. Where exactly? Are you offering to go for me? Yeah, why not? If I can help. Besides, you promised your wife, right? Yeah, you're getting this for some reason. Excellent. The medical equipment room's on the third floor. But it's dangerous in there right now. I'll wait until tonight when the infected leave the building. They'll find shelter around here for now. I'll be at the windmill. Good luck, Aiden. Unlike that actor guy, I don't feel like this guy's bullshitting me. But I do feel like he's probably doing this to, um get his a pacemaker for someone who's dead i thought he's getting it for himself it really doesn't feel like a case of i'm sad and miss my wife so yeah okay and he's just like wanting to hold on to one more promise for her i can't even be mad at that honestly
How did you plan to get even get in here if you needed a GRE, my friend? Can I please drop? Thank you. GR there's four neighbors in here? Jesus. Okay, so I think the plan is actually to start at that top door and go our way down, it seems like. Understand. Let me get confirmation though. Yeah. So what the, this this is the game telling me that these are shortcuts. Once the yeah these are literal shortcuts. The game is saying, hey, if you make it to this point, you get to unlock this door, so you don't have to go all the way down each time. Okay, understandable. So I do have to walk down each floor. Got it. I really do hope the Callisto Protocol is good, even though I probably don't play it because I'm a massive bitch. But I still want it to be good, nonetheless. I don't do well with horror games, man. I don't do well with horror games. Oh, well, here's the shortcut unlocks. I just, I just don't do well. I'm a little bitch. And I am man enough to admit that I'm a little bitch. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm totally brave and there's some reason I'm not playing them. I'm not playing them because I am a little bitch. Uh, what's in here? So they're down drop, and here's where the enemy starts. I just don't do this shit, man. Spectatable to be able to handle this shit, but how the fuck does he do it? Product soap. I can search you now. Oh, 
little bit sloppy, but I didn't take any damage, so I'll take it. The question is how do I get to this next area? Can I climb up to the top of these things? This is where the game does want me to go, though. This seems incredibly stupid. Yeah, I know you just heavily cut down on your time to do this, but we're gonna put a chest that you have to unlock in here. Assholes. You know, throwing Molotovs in a chemical area is probably a pretty bad idea. Like, this seems like a very bad idea in real life. Stealth is optional this mission. Burn it all to the ground! <laughs> uh, alcohol, that's always good. Gives me more models of cocktails. More inhibitors, though. I should probably try to hurry up before I run out of nighttime, though, too. Can't shimmy through there. Locking was that easy in real life. Holy shit, nothing would be safe. Yes, yes, Ma, ma roll over it. Can we move, please? Uh, let's see, head doctor, Dr. Kasumi record. Yeah, it's this one. Eleven months have passed since we arrived in Philidora. With us are the leaders of six major European countries and their combined militaries. The Council of Mankind. 
April 13th, 2024. DRE report on the state of the epidemic. The report is about Villador, the last major city left in the world. All others have fallen. This city is humanity's last hope. The Council of Mankind is doing its best to protect the city as the GRB yeah, okay, sets sure. THB in controlled circumstances. The protocol. Unrest among the citizens is growing as thousands of immigrants gather outside the walls. The military safeguards the border, but some leaders are worried the situation might escalate. Inside, crime is on the rise as supplies grow scarce. Civilians have started to form militia groups, patrolling the streets with guns. General Pratt ordered them to disband and confiscated all privately owned weapons. This led to many protests all over the city. At one gathering, the military opened fire. 64 civilians were killed. People call it the March Massacre. I have reason to believe we are on a downward spiral now. I've never been religious. But if there's a god, then this virus is the devil. And we are in hell. Perfect. What the fuck is happening over there? How many more craftable knives do I have, by the way? I'm probably running out, right? Or throwable knives. Uh, I am... I have five left. Okay. I got rid of the two uncommon infected before they could do any damage. We'll take it. Got a call for Molotovs a bit later. I like Molotovs. They're technically silent. Because of reasons. Look, they're they're my go-to AoE weapon of choice, personally. level up my HP, I suppose. I guess no reason not to have it. There's no time for this right now, Aiden. Come on, get up.
Instead of a special infected of some kind. Silver lining, right? Okay, it's so hard to see. I guess that's the point of this area, but still. Save those for a little bit more for later. There's still two more inhibitors to find in here. So I'm guessing is that there were some people here who were actually trying to do their best to create a, a vaccine for this virus. And then there were people like Waltz who were like, oh, I'm going to create the next level of human evolution. Oh, yeah. shaking. Why? Why is my controller shaking? Ah, so it's not a volatile. It's one of those charger things. Should probably do my best to try to avoid him. Oh, oh. Okay, I guess let's make a lot more lot picks. Not if they're hard to make or anything. Thank you. Where? I feel like I've been everywhere on this goddamn thing. Oh my god, are you joking me? I must have been, like, missing that by a goddamn hair. Alright, whatever. Still don't know what these crystals are for, honestly. Still gonna collect them because it's behind something, though. Look, it has that same orange... It has the rare glow, so I have kind of have to collect it, don't I? Can I climb these cages? I can't climb these cages. It is no longer nighttime.
until he turns around and then go for the blue door. Go. Woo! I am a god. Another inhibitor, another parkour skill. Move up ledges faster and move side to side faster. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Sure, you saw me, but all right, time to go. That's a volatile. That's a volatile. I can't see. God fucking damn it. God damn it. Just for 
fairy tales, if you ask me. One swing, and it's like the entire fucking room. Uh, I get it, I'm not supposed to go there during the day, but I was stuck in there because it took so long. Ugh. Two volatiles. Hi. Bye. Yeah, I'm out of here. Molotov at you. How much damage would it do? Let's find out. <sighs> Barely anything. Got it. Okay, then. Gotta waste this entire fucking episode doing basically nothing. <clears throat> Wait, is that the the building that I climbed beforehand that just didn't register my thing? trying to find just a, some time to burn until night time. Is there a way inside this building to start climbing it is the question. Doesn't seem like it. It's probably a story beat. I kind of wish there was a game way. I wish there was a way the game said, hey, this is one that you have to come back to. Alright, I've wasted enough time already. Let me at least make an attempt to start doing the main story thing. I can always come back to that later. Sorry, mate. I literally cannot do yours right now. So, back to the story quest. And... Yep. I think I should be able to clear this now, right? Yeah, I can clear this. Why you running? Why you running? Oh, fuck was that? Get your 
ass in the water. God, that was so fucking worth it. That was the most worth it. Anyone who says they that wasn't worth it doesn't has never ever played a video game. That's the only people who says who will say that what I just did wasn't worth it. Oh, I have to push the wrong button. By the way, equip this, please, and equip this, please. All right, Hakan. Let's talk. I can't get through there. Oh, here we go. I guess that's a symbol of a night room. We're to take a guess. Hey, Aiden. Turn your fucking flashlight on, you goddamn moron. Every single time Aiden's part of a cutscene, I just get so pissed because he like always investigates this the worst possible way. Like, why the hell is your flashlight not on? Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire is still smoldering. Aiden? Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. There it is. He's still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Hey, do I, wanna I don't want to fight with you, Hakon. Pity. I don't care what you want. I saved your life at the bazaar. Oh, you saved my life. I saved yours. We're even. Whatever you might think, we're not friends. Never were. Now, give me the key. You know I won't do that. Get that fucking key from him! <laughs> no, seriously, I'm really tired of Aiden. Cutscene Aiden pisses me off. That was so greedy of me. There we go. Not too bad. A little shaky, but... Ow. Who the fuck hit me? Get the spear. Who hit me? Who hit me? Where are they? Machete. 
I would like to defeat the Renegade, but one shot me and I literally... Oh my god. There's an archer somewhere. Where the fuck are... Oh my god. There you are, you sack of shit. Hiding in the fucking rafters. Fuck you. Archers are getting on my last goddamn nerve. There you are, you piece of shit. I'm going to be with a fucker. Oh god. There you are. I mean, I'll fight you one. You've made quite a name for yourself in this shit hole. Can we please just talk? Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But you had a chance to kill me, to take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. But you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key! Is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. Oh my god. Give me the key and the dead. Oh hey, what's this? Thanks. Oh god damn it, shut up. Uh, give me this, actually, for right now. Oh, hey. Cool oh, medkit. Ow. Give me this medkit. Ow. Stop it. The crowd goes wild! Can I stop doing that? Please! It's not even fun anymore! This random blacking out shit's so fucking lame. Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time. I mean, what's stopping me from just doing this? Yeah, I'm, I'm very confused on what's stopping me from just doing that. I 
I get that you're doing the whole fading out thing for a cinematic effect of, so you got really got to earn your kill. It doesn't change the fact that from a gameplay standpoint, for the point of enjoying a video game, it's frustrating as shit, developers. Come on, Techlands. I'm pretty sure that if you were to forgo pieces of the story for the sake of just making it better, more enjoyable to play, people would not complain. Ugh. God, man. I'm not healing that slowly, just... the UAB. If I can find the container, I find the con. Uh, can I make that jump? Why did I even use that UAV thing when there was a... I'm, I am not the smartest man. Oh, here we go. gotta find the UAV. Just find the find the what's it called, man. If I find that, I find him. Where in the Stop turning on headphones. Where are you, sack of shit? Why are you turning on again? Stop it. My glasses keep turning on at random. Where the fuck am I going? The fact that it's all nice and smoky just kind of... Obscuring my vision isn't making it any better either. Sure, I'm glad you blacked out, by the way. Thanks, Aiden. Barely any different than all the others. How many people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian, Frank, Lawan. Why did you betray her? 
Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. Why are you taking your eyes off him, you moron? Deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't. You must be a, a lot cooler if I can actually see his face right now. I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. Are you gonna pass out again this time? I'm not fighting you fair because I don't have to. I got a bow and arrow. And more than enough arrows to fill you like a pitch cushion. Yeah? I'm sorry, Icon. I didn't want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Hakon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, I can make this jump. Come back to the I can't make this jump. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to old Villador Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes. And I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. Now, where is that inhibitor? Over there, or just rot now. On top of the church, isn't it? Yeah, it's on top of the church. I'm taking that key, Aiden. Oh, come on. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out. Won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? There's nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be I mean, alive? I made it. Why couldn't you? Luan made it. Why couldn't you? anyone back. But I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Luan. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. 
Neither do I. <laughs> I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? <clears throat> I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Oh, you're so gonna die. There it is. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. The one? How did you f have my own connections? Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Killing Hakon won't help you, the one. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? I know about the Night Runners. Frank told me. He spoke about balance and letting go. Uh, he's one to talk. But he has. And you could too. Can't you? I'm partially, I want to personally probably he shoot him. He wanted to protect you. <laughs> what is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Aiden, shut up. But he had to stop because Waltz threatened to hurt you. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! The one! This is bullshit! Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I saw that game coming. Are you sure? Go before I change my mind, you asshole. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought was talking, she was talking to me there. How do you feel? I don't know. I... I feel... relieved. Some peace. Finally, but... But I should have killed him. He was on my list. He's still on my list. And throw your list away. These cutscenes would, would be a lot better if I could purpose. actually see them. It helped me keep going. Throw it away. Luan. You think you know me? Uh, Fuck you. Luan. Wait. Really? That's the one time. Oh my god. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, shh. Frank? Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. Yeah, I. Look, a lot went down since we last spoke. Fuck. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And you won't believe this, but Luan was there and she let Hakon go. She what? Yeah, she destroyed her kill list. Cl climb onto the thing. Oh my God. Lord. Save your shock for later, Frank. What about that doctor? Why? Why can't I climb onto this? Like legitimately. I'll tell okay. you everything. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's gotta be a way up there, though. What the fuck? Hey, don't bother me. I'm busy. I'm sorry, what? Why? Why? What indicator do I have that I can't- that's not climbable? Oh my fucking god. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. So... Mm, mm, there we go. 
Shit. Okay, that is the right play, though. So... What? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. God, I wish there was like an indicator of what did and didn't work. game really is a death by a thousand cuts kind of game, man. Like, I want to be having fun, but this game just makes it so hard to just do that and just, just have the fun. It keeps, like, working to just be counterproductive to the fun! Anyway, military tech. territory all right I think for right now I'm done man I, I if I keep playing this game I'm gonna have an aneurysm I'm gonna get pissed and say something I'm gonna regret so for right now I want everyone to have oh god I want everyone out there to have a good morning evening day or night wherever you're at for right now I'm out later